guys welcome back to my channel right now it's currently my spring break which has been a very much needed i've been super stressed the past few weeks with school and exams and i just really wanted a break from going to class every single day having exams and quizzes all the time and to make things better two weeks ago i had the flu and last week i had a rash all over my face so I haven't been working out, I've been super stressed, I've been super sad, so I just feel like I need a glow up, I want to feel good, I want to look good, so if you guys want to see me go from this, still beautiful, but I just, I just want to feel even better, you know, but so if you want to see me go from this, my current state, to this, Keep watching. The first step in glowing up is going to be we need to glow up mentally and physically. I haven't worked out consistently in like the past two or three weeks because I've been sick. So our first step is going to be to work out. We don't need to do anything crazy, but I just want to move my body, feel a little sweat, be active. So we are going to do my usual little ab circuit and little body weight exercises that I do, and then we will go on a walk. I've just been working out just right here on the floor. I want to buy a yoga mat so I can start doing my exercises on that. But for now, I just do them in my room on the carpet. After I do my body weight exercises and my abs, I usually do 12, 3, 30, but it's pretty nice out today. So I think we will just go for a walk outside instead. Do you want to go on a walk? Do you want to go on a walk? Do you? You do? Okay, come on. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Good boy. Baby, there's only one left. Oh, yay! So I ended up going for a run, and I'm literally, I'm not a runner. I am not a runner whatsoever. That's why I normally just stick to my 12, 3.30, but it felt so good today. I was like, I feel like going for a run. So I dropped off Teddy and I just ran around my neighborhood. I don't know how far I ran because I didn't track it and I don't have an Apple Watch or anything like that, but it felt really good even though I know it was slow, but now my heart feels good and my body feels good. So this is your sign if you are not a runner to just try or even just go for a walk because even though like I know I wasn't fast, I still feel good afterwards. Cause I know 
that I tried something that I know I'm not the best at, but I still did it. And that just makes me feel good inside. So we're going up our mentality one step at a time, trying things that we know we're not good at and doing them anyways, because you won't get good at anything unless you try them and then practice. But yeah, so workout complete. Okay guys, it's now a little bit later and the second part of this glow up, I think we're gonna go try and thrift some type of cool outfit. So the transformation is really full circle tomorrow after we've done all the beauty care things tonight and tomorrow. So I think we're gonna go hit up one of my favorite thrifts and see if we can find any goodies. Here is a little fit check before we head out. This shirt I just thrifted and cut the collar off. My 777 necklace and my Every Jewels double cross necklace. And then these jeans, these are, they're thrifted Old Navy jeans. Just a nice relaxed fit. And then my UNC dunks. A very blue moment today, but I like it. Super natural makeup, curled my lashes and put Aquaphor on them. And I've never done that before, except recently. And I just love how it looks. You can actually kind of see my lashes cause they're blonde, so you normally can't see them. But when I put the Aquaphor on, it makes them just the tiniest bit darker. Just the tiniest bit darker. And I love it. And then brow gel and a little bit of concealer and blush. So let's go. This is the lippy pop of the day. We have arrived. Let's see if we can find any cute pieces. This vintage. Yes, they are so cute. I just got some little pearls. I ended up only getting the jersey, but I'm happy with that because I've been looking at jersey outfits on my Pinterest. So I got the Brazil jersey. I've been wanting to find either a jersey or a little Brazil baby tee for the summer. So this is just the best of both worlds. It's just everything in one. But I thought that this was super cute. Yellow is gonna be a super big color this summer. And it just says Brazil on the back. So I think this will be super cute. And then I got the cute little star necklace. I feel like this is such a cute little piece. And as you see, I just wear like lots of little gold jewelry. So like, I just feel like it'll be perfect. 
and it has this cute little charm on the end as well also you guys know i love to do my gel manicures and i saw they had some gel sally hansen polish so i grabbed two of those just the base coat which is good because i'm honestly running low on my base coat and then this one is like this really pretty pink color so i feel like this would be perfect like that color is so cute it's the perfect like french tip pink so i'm super excited i usually paint my toes white and i was going to do that tonight when we do all the other pamper things for my glow up but maybe i'll do the light pink i don't know or maybe we can try French tips on my toes. I've never done that. Hmm, that could be a good idea. You guys know if you've been watching my other thrifting videos that I really want to thrift a pair of Adidas Sambas or Gazelles or just any kind of smaller, skinnier Adidas shoe. I've really been wanting to find one and I'm, I'm kind of tempted to just go buy Dick's Sporting Goods or Foot Locker or something like that in the mall and see if they have them and just kind of splurge and buy them because I've been wearing them for a while and I don't wear any plain sneakers because I don't really wear Air Force Ones anymore and now like I'll wear my New Balances 530s but I don't have just like a white pair. I do have my Pandas so I guess that was a lie but I want Adidas ones that's that's the thing so do I splurge? Do I do it? I feel like that would be really cute with the jersey. Soccer vibe with like a pleated skirt. I don't know. I guess you guys will see if we end up at Dick's Sporting Goods. These ones are so cute, but not very practical that I would wear yellow every day. So they didn't have the generic Sambas, and I think that would be the best since I don't really have Adidas shoes. So we're gonna go to the mall, even though I don't like going to the mall by myself. But I just want to see, because they have a finish line there in a full locker. So we'll see if maybe they have the shoes. I knew this was gonna happen if I came to the mall and I'd go in other stores, and it did. Let's head home before I spend any more money that I don't need to spend. Okay guys, now we are finally back from shopping. I knew I was gonna spend more money if I went to the mall, but it's okay. I think what I got is gonna be super useful. I love the pajamas from Brandy Melville, John Galt, and my pack son usually never has them. Even when I was checking out, the lady was like, I've sold like three of these today. I'm glad I was able to get those. I also got a super cute little necklace. So here's the necklace. It is the cutest little bear charm holding a heart. My boyfriend's name is Johans, but his nickname is Yogi. So like Yogi Bear, I'm obsessed with anything with the little bears because it just reminds me of him. Here are the little shorts. The pattern is so cute. Love the light blue. And here is the little tank that goes with the top. Adorable. I'll probably wear this tonight whenever we do all of our self-care for the glow up. It took so long to find these shoes. I went through four stores. Dix didn't have them. I went to JD Sports. They had them, but not the right size. I went to Foot Locker. 
they had them, not the right size. So then finally, Kids Foot Locker saved the day. I ended up getting the plain Sambas. They are so cute. I know I'm gonna wear them all the time. They're just a really good staple shoe. You either love Sambas or you hate them, but I love them. And if you don't, keep it to yourself. I mentioned earlier in the video that I don't wanna just glow up physically. I also wanna glow up mentally. So I decided I think it would be best for my mental health and my sanity for me to find a good hobby because basically what I do right now is work and school and shop. So my only hobby is shopping and I do play video games, but not as frequently as I would like to. So I was thinking some type of other hobby or activity that I can do could be coloring or drawing. So I picked up some things so I can get into that. At Marshall's, I found this super cool kit with all of these really pretty markers. These are more pastel pack. And then I was able to find a neutrals as well. But I'm just planning on printing off some cute ones off Pinterest. And then that way I'll just be able to color them in while I listen to music or watch YouTube. I also got these cute little gel pens. And these are going to be great because I ran out of ink with my pens the last like week or so of classes so now i've got these super cute ones that will be perfect for taking notes and for drawing as well i also got this three pack of adorable little notebooks this is the designs on the other ones they are so cute here are the notebooks they are all so so cute i can't wait to use them and they also have little fruit on the back as well that corresponds with the front of the journal. I am so excited. They're so cute and it was only $6 for all three. I think those are gonna help me get into drawing and coloring so that way I can have some type of new hobby to do. And hobbies are super, super important because they allow for you to distract yourself from whatever's going on in your life and gives you a break from whatever stressors you might have. I actually had to give a speech over why hobbies are good for your mental health in my public speaking class. I did not like public speaking at all. It's strange because right now I'm talking to you and I'm talking to you in all my videos and it's so easy. But then whenever I have to speak in front of people in real life, why does it become so much more challenging and difficult? I don't know. Tomorrow, I'm going to go get a haircut, so I'm thinking just a good trim, probably this much, just like a few inches off the bottom, and then I'm going to re-get these little baby pieces cut, and I don't think I'm going to get the face framing layers, like the front layers, I think I'm just going to get these cut shorter probably right below my chin so i can still tuck behind my ears and then a nice trim off the bottom so it looks a little bit more thicker voluminous you know now i'm just gonna wash my face or at least i'm going to remove my eyebrow gel and then we are going to tint my brows before i get in the shower I had a question on where my headband is from in a past video, so I wanted to clarify. I got this at TJ Maxx. They have a ton of super cute ones, and they're all around five bucks. I just rinsed my face off with water, so that way my eyebrows will be nice and clean for whenever I dye them. And then I will wash my face fully with my CeraVe cleanser once I get in the shower. This is the beard dye that I use. I'm just going to mix one part color and one part of the base. Here is the color base and the color developer. So I will do just a squirt of each, mix it up, and then I will just fill in my brows. The dye is pretty light. This is light brown. Here are the two little dots. I'm just gonna swirl them together and then start filling in my brows. Here 
are the brows. Looking quite bold, but they're not gonna tint as dark as they look right now. Now I'm gonna set a timer for eight minutes and at around six minutes, I'm gonna wipe off the front. And the reason that I do it a little longer than the recommended time is because my dye is pretty old, so it doesn't stain as darkly as a fresh tube would. So I'll see you in a few minutes. So I just wiped off the front and then I'm letting the rest sit on for two more minutes. Here are my brows. I just got out of the shower. So you see they're not too dark, but they just kind of help the hairs have a little bit more pigment. So now let's do a face mask. These are the ones I'm going to be using. I got these at TJ Maxx. This is what it looks like, hyaluronic acid and retinol. I love hyaluronic acid and sheet masks are super nice because they're super hydrating for your skin. Do you guys want to wear one too? Feels super cool. Ooh. Rub it down my neck and on my hands, whatever excess juice is coming out of the face mask. Now I think I just let it sit for 15 minutes. So let's set a timer. I'm wearing my cute new pajamas. I love them, they're so comfortable. While I let this sit on my face, I think I'm gonna paint my toenails because they need to be painted. I already trimmed them. So I think I'm gonna paint them, try out that baby pink. We'll see if I feel like doing French tips. I'll keep you updated. But right now I'm just watching Tara Yummy. She is so funny and so cute. And PSA, I have been watching her for a long time, way before she had even close to a million subs. I'm not trying to flex or anything. My face mask is kind of falling off now. So I'm just gonna take her off for now. And then after I finish my toes, then I will go in the bathroom and apply the rest of my skincare. This face mask feels really, really good though. I like it. I just finished and I'm not trying to just show you my feet, but I felt like I did such a good job at doing um, Frenchies on my toes. And this way it matches my fingers. So cute. I made this Pinterest board with all of these super cute little graphics that I can print off and then color. So I think I'm just gonna pick one, print it off. I think you might do this one maybe. I'm just gonna color and watch some YouTube to relax for the rest of the night. I just opened these and look, it's two markers in one. I didn't even know that. So here it's got a fat tip. And then on this side, a thin one. So it's basically like I just got double the markers. Oh my gosh. Here is my final product. I think it turned out so adorable. I love the little bear scuba diving. It's pretty late now, so I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you guys in the morning when we head to my haircut. Good night. Good morning, guys. So I just got dressed. I'm wearing this cute sweat set from John Galt. 
and my favorite sneakers. My New Balance 530s. And I actually thrifted these from my favorite thrift shop, Savers, for 15 bucks. I'm also wearing the new little star necklace that I got yesterday. But I just have my hair up in a bun because I didn't wash it since it'll get washed at my haircut. I'm gonna eat breakfast and then we are gonna head to my haircut. Good morning. Good morning. All right, guys, we're here. Let's do a little hair check before I go in and get it cut. So we can do a before and after. So this is the before. So you can see how long. It's pretty long. It'll probably look basically the same. Just gonna be trimmed up on the ends. I'm thinking like this much off the bottom. And then I'm just gonna get these pieces recut probably like below my chin. I will see you guys there. <laughs> You're also getting something soon. So cute! Thank you! Guys, I love my hair good! It feels so, so soft. I always feel like whenever I go get my hair washed and blow dried at the salon, it just feels so much cleaner. I love it. She cut my little baby pieces so good. And I love that she curled it it's so soft at the ends now let's head home and let's do my makeup and pick out an outfit to finish up this glow up my hair just looks so much healthier i love it now i need to figure out what type of outfit we want to wear for this glow up i know we got the jersey yesterday i'm just trying to decide if I want to wear that or if I want to wear more of a girly outfit, let's figure it out. So I think that this jersey is so cute and I also love this skirt. It's, this is a little vintage Abercrombie and Fitch cargo skirt that I thrifted. It's so cute but I don't think that I'm loving them together. I think I would like this jersey better with like some baggy blue jeans. So let me try it on. Jeans definitely look so much cooler. And also I'm obsessed with these shoes. They look so cute, especially with some baggy blue jeans. Cute. I think for today, I'm gonna wear a different shirt though because I just feel like this yellow would look better when I have a more of a tan so maybe during the summer so let's try on our other shirt option this sweater definitely wins I love this sweater I thrifted it per usual but it's from Express but I thrifted it for like three dollars and it is just so freaking cute boom I think this is gonna be our glow up fit. Okay guys, I just washed my face and I just removed the brow gel that I had on from this morning. And I grabbed my makeup bag. So now let's do my makeup. Just to keep my hair out of my face while we do my makeup. I did end up getting a new eyelash curler, a little upgrade from my e.l.f. one. And this is the Japonesque brand. I got it at TJ Maxx. And right now, so far, I really like it. It has a little bit of a different shape than my previous lash curler and this one hasn't pinched my eyelids and I was having a major problem with my last one with pinching the skin.
all right guys my makeup is fully complete my hair is done and we are all done with this transformation glow up what do you guys think i'm so so happy with how my hair turned out it's so soft i'm obsessed and i feel like my makeup turned out pretty cute as well Doing all of these things to help myself glow up has really made me feel so much better. Last night was so relaxing, just coloring, and it was nice going out and shopping with you guys and finding these super cute shoes. I love them and I can't wait to get more wear out of them and style lots of different fits with them. That is the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and let me know what type of videos you guys would like me to record in the future and if you like the style of video i am so thankful for you guys we just hit 13,000 subscribers and it just means so much to me i will see you guys in my next video i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day